in this short video I'm going to show you how you can access your school email and how you can access Microsoft Teams in order for you to be able to attend any online lessons that may take place. Now if you are at home um, your lessons would take place at the time that they would normally take place if you were in school. So it's very, very important that you are able to access those lessons online, which is why you need to be able to access Microsoft Teams. And in order to do that, you need to know what your school email address is and what your password is. I'm going to start by, I'm in Google, and I'm going to look for Office 365. And the top result says Office 365 login. I'm going to click on that, and it says sign in. Now on this next screen, it's it's asking what my what in essence what is the school email address that that I have. Yours will look something like that. The first part of your school email address is whatever your username is when you sign into a computer when you're logging into a computer in school. So it might look something like fifteen Smith J. It might be, you know it's going to be something nice and short. It's probably got a couple of numbers at the beginning. So that's your regular school username, which you should know. If you're in year seven, you probably don't know that at the moment. And if you don't, all of your teachers know what your username is. So you can ask any teacher. I'd start with your form teacher. Just ask them what your username is. Your school email address is your username with this added onto the end. So at cardinal-heenan.org.uk. So in this example, his email address is 15smithj, which is his username, and then at cardinal-heenan.org.uk. Okay. Your password is the password you normally use to log on to a computer in school. And again, if you're in year seven, or if you're actually in any year group, and if you're not sure what your password is, um, ask your form tutor. If you're in year seven, you can ask any teacher. Okay, so at this point then, you know what your username is, you know what your email address is going to be, and you know what your password is. Once you have those bits of information, you can go back into Office 365. So I'm going to sign in now to Office 365 as before. I'm going to have typed that in. That's my email address. I'm clicking next. And you type your password in here. Okay, mine's already in. Click sign in. Let's just say yes on that. And I see this screen. Now, you've used Microsoft Word before, you've used Excel, you've used PowerPoint, you can you can use all of these applications just in this in this browser that you're using. So if I click on PowerPoint, for example, I can start a new PowerPoint presentation. But that's not what we're here for. You need to know how to access your school email, which you use Outlook for, and how to go on to a, an online lesson, and that's using Teams. You go into Outlook, which is your email application, in order to see any emails you might have had from your teachers, uh, to see any emails you might have had from other students, um, and also to see, to get notifications of any teams you've been added to. Now, you'll be added to a team for every subject, for every, for every class you're in. So you'll be added to an English team, a maths team, a PE team, an RE team, etc. And you'll also see in Outlook, those lessons you're due to attend. Not only are they in Outlook, but they're also in Teams as well. So if I click on Teams, Okay, I'm going to use the web app. So I've clicked on web app and here's all the teams I'm in. Okay, so say so I'm in, a, in an 11 option three computer science team. That's because I'm the teacher of that team, but all of my students are also within that team. Okay, now you will see here all of the teams that you are in. If you click on calendar, you'll see on here all of the lessons that you're due to attend. Now those lessons will be, as, as, as I've already said, at the times they would normally take place in the day. If you click on a lesson, at this point, you will click join. Now, join the lesson maybe you know a couple of minutes before it's due to start. 
Um, if you're late, join it late, but ideally you'll get there a couple of minutes early. Now, clicking join will then take you into the lesson. Um, the computer might ask you if it's okay if it can use your microphone and your camera. Just say yes on that, and then you'll see the teacher, and you'll maybe see all the students in the class, but then you're ready to take part in the lesson. Also within the team, if you click on the team, you'll be able to see files that have been put there by the teacher for you to view and use. You'll be able to see assignments that have been set and you can see posts here uh, that have been uh, put on there by the teachers and maybe by other students as well, asking for help, that kind of thing. There's a number of ways that you can access a lesson. Ideally, you'd access a lesson using a PC or a laptop, in which case it's the same for both of those different kinds of devices, Google, Office 365, log in using your school email address and you'll see all these different applications you can use. If you're on a tablet, like an iPad, or if you're on your phone, you, you can still access all of this, but you, you're probably better to actually download the Outlook and the Microsoft Teams apps from the App Store. You log into those once you've downloaded them using your school email address and using the password you would use normally on a PC or a laptop. Now, ideally you'd use a PC or a laptop because it's a bigger screen. Failing that, you'd use an iPad. Failing that, you'd use a mobile phone. If you're using a mobile phone, yes, the screen's a bit small. You can still take part in a lesson. It's fine. Uh, you just might, you know, it's just not, not quite as easy to see everything on the phone as it is on a computer or, a, or an iPad, as you would expect. So that is email and that is Microsoft Teams for lessons. Something else that you can access using the same login, using your school email address, using your password, the same password, is something called Synergy. Now, if I go to the school website, I'm on the home page here. And if I click on Quick Links, the top quick link is called Synergy. If I click on that, I'm taken to this screen here. Now, this is basically the, the portal to you as a student being able to see your positives and negatives. You can see your timetable and things like that. Now, there's a number of ways to log in. The easiest way to log in is it says sign in with Microsoft 365. That's the same username, sorry, the same email and password that I've just used to log into Outlook and Teams. If I click on that, I'm taken straight in. So there's my timetable and things like that. Okay. Now you'll be able, you'll have a different view to me. But what you will be able to um, see um, are all of your positives, all of your negatives. You'd see your timetable, etc. Okay. Very important that you use this. Teachers are going to start putting their homeworks on here instead of setting any homeworks anywhere else. So it's very, very important that you access this. Your parents are also getting their own login to Synergy, so they can see your positives, they can see your negatives, and they can see your homeworks and things like that. This is the replacement for class charts. So we're no, we're no longer going to be using class charts for anything. You know, in the past, we have used it to record positives and negatives and homework. They're not using that anymore. We're going to be using Synergy from now on. It's very, very important that if you have got any problem logging into Synergy, logging into Office 365 that you tell your form tutor or pretty much any member of staff in the school because we'll get that quickly, quickly resolved. I appreciate that students, you know, who are not new to the school, it may be a while since you've logged on the computer. So you may have forgotten your username and you may have forgotten your password. If you let someone know, we can quickly get that sorted out for you. Okay. Thanks everybody.